Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cape Channel 3. And you can get us on the World Wide Web at sandylandcenter.org or you can come and visit us on the south side of the square any morning between the hours of 9 and 12. And like on a cool morning like this, we always have a warm cup of coffee and warm friendly faces to greet you. So here we are on Monday, the 7th of October, at the start of a new week. And after the clash of the cooler and warmer air flows that we saw towards the end of last week, that brought in snow and in some places tornadoes to the north and the west of us. And it has left behind some cooler temperatures. We saw that over the weekend. And so now much of the greater Midwest will be dry with a mix of sun and clouds at the start of this new week. It will be cool and the highs will just be in the 70s. But right now in the square, if you look up, it is sunny and clear. Clear blue skies that are cloudless. And that cold northwest wind, barely whispering at about five miles per hour with the humidity of 51% and the temperature right at 65 degrees. We should expect to see the same pattern over the, the next six hours. It will remain sunny and dry as the temperatures warm up to the highs uh, in the mid 70s, 75, 76 degrees. Tonight the skies should remain clear and look up to see the beautiful clear blue skies and all the stars shining and as the skies will be very clear relative humidity of 60% and the temperature um, lows will be about 49 degrees and it should remain rain free. Tuesday's outlook, it should be sunny and bright with uh, temperature highs of 78 degrees, 46% um, humidity and the southerly winds at 90 miles per hour. At night time, the lows should be at 53 degrees and 50% uh, relative humidity. And the winds, that south-southeast early pattern will remain at about 15 miles per hour. As the southeasterly winds um, permeate the area, the temperatures should begin to rise to a high of about 80, and we should see the highs on Wednesday of 80, 80 degrees and the winds south southeasterly at 18 miles per hour. Relative humidity of 51%. And this pattern should remain the same um, for Thursday and Friday. The south southeasterly winds will help the temperatures to increase. In our community, today we want to wish uh, Melanda Mercer, a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Melanda and Jim Smith. And an anniversary to Mel and Connie Cheeseboro. So if you see these people in the square or the post office or shopping, please wish them happy birthdays and anniversary. Tonight, it's the first Monday of the month, and don't forget the potluck over at the um, center. Uh, please bring a friend and bring a dish or two as they will be having the um, good supper, good fellowship, and a short program to follow that over at the center, the senior center. So m mark your calen calendars. Um, for October the 10th. October the 10th, there should be a trip to the Hutchison. It should be lunch at Pizza Ranch. And it's a buffet of salad, pizzas, fried chicken, and fixings. And everyone says that the Pizza Ranch has probably some of the best fried chicken and best pizzas in town. So 
look forward to that and along with that there will be some shopping at the new Dillon's market and the bus will be leaving right at 9 o'clock and to return to St. John at 4 o'clock and the cost for that will be $20. Lunch and transportation, coolers provided for items purchased that need to be cooled. Sounds like fun on Thursday. Um, mark your calendars also for the First United Methodist Women's Bazaar and Soup Supper on October the 16th from 4.30 until 7. The, the church is located at 807 East 1st Avenue and they will be serving chicken or noodle soup, sandwich, dessert and drink. The price for that would be $7 and if you you have children under the age of 10 it's $3.50. And there should be a bazaar, and it's going to be including homemade baked goods, jelly, crafts. And any donations will be used for the UMW mission work. So do mark your calendars. That will be here before we know it on October the 16th. And also mark your calendars for Sunday, October the 20th. It is the 27th annual turkey dinner and that is at the St. John Catholic Church at the Catholic Wit Center. There should be some prizes. Prizes should include a queen size quilt, bicycles and various gift certificates. And if you want um, the turkey dinner delivered to you on that Sunday, please call them over at 549-3847 and give your name and address and they'll be happy to deliver it to you for a cost of just ten dollars. And everyone is invited and if you bring a non-perishable non food item uh, and donate that to the center you will receive a free ticket for the um, raffle. Mark your calendars also for Sunday, uh, Saturday, October the 26th, it's a pizza and movie. Uh, they will meet at 5 o'clock at the Poppy's, Poppy's Pizza to have some lovely pizza and leave for 6 o'clock for Great Bend uh, at the movie theater, um, the Golden Bell Cinema 6. And there you will. You can take your choice of what movie you will be seeing. They, they have different movies. And the cost for that will be $20. And that includes popcorn and a drink. Today over at the Maxville Center, we're serving up um, a chicken grill, potato rounds, Capri vegetables, uh, bread, and a bro an ambrosia salad. And tomorrow it should be meatloaf, mashed potatoes, creamy coleslaw, and a cranberry gelatin salad. And then on Wednesday it's baked fish, au gratin potatoes, mixed vegetables, fruited muffin and a fruit and mandarin orange with marshmallows and tea and coffee as usual. And over at the center here in St. John, today they're serving up beef cubes, steamed rice, broccoli, cheddar bake, uh, apple celery salad, strawberry sundae, uh, milk and coffee as usual, and tomorrow they'll be serving up roast pork, bread, dressing and gravy, buttered sugar snap peas, lemonade uh, salad, and chocolate layer dessert. Very rich and enticing. And on Wednesday, it's a red chicken, rice, seasoned carrots, frozen salad, and a mandarin orange cake. So do 
If you need um, lunches from either of those two centers, call them. If you are sick and shut in, or um, just go on over and enjoy the enticing foods they have prepared for you. You know, we have been talking about the, the flu shot and the cooler weather is on us and this will bring with it the flu season. Uh, so remember to get your flu shots as soon as possible so that um, the vaccination will have a time to work and take effect. And this year, the jug makers are expecting to produce over 140 million doses of the vaccine, um, according to some reports from the CDC, the Center for Disease um, Control. So if you are 65 or older and you work with older adults, they really recommend that you do take um, the vaccine and do so as early as possible. And here's a food for thought. There are several foods that help you to fight off um, the, the flu. And black-eyed peas. These nutritious legumes are rich in zinc, uh, a mirror that keeps your immune system at work. And also pinto beans, peanuts, pumpkins, um, pumpkin seed roasteds, and wheat germ are other foods that are good choices to take to help to fight off the flu. And I'll be giving you some other food choices for the rest of the week to help you to fight off the flu as we get into this cooler weather. So have a good afternoon and enjoy.